Outdoor Dave here, heading out with my youngest son to the Portage Park neighborhood garage sale. Let's see what we find. Lots to check out here. Going through some rows. There's some toys in some bins. Let's see what we grab. The price is right. I got a bag full of goodies, including a Sean John jean jacket for eight bucks. And my son got his little car that he can drive and be very excited about. Okay, walking into another part of the neighborhood where there's at least four garage sales. This is totally random. A cat tacos in outer space shirt. They go for $20. Let's see if I can get it for less. Last one of the afternoon. It's pushing 90 degrees. We're getting tired. Let's see if we can find anything. Also able to snag a Pokemon backpack minimally used for $5. Gonna probably just give that to my son. Great snag there. Okay, so I am back, uh, showered and cleaned up, and now it's time to share with you guys what I got. Um, so let's start with something that I'm gonna not end up reselling, but I got it for my son. It's a Pokemon backpack. Rather than paying 20 to $30 retail, I paid five bucks for this. So he's happy, I'm happy. Moving on. Um, found a couple World of Warcraft, um, what do they call them? Battle chest guides. Didn't pay much for them, like a dollar a piece. They go for about five dollars a piece. So again, just something I could package, deal, move along, get some feedback, but easy decision because they don't take up space. Um, one mistake that I made. Um, I bought this. People were storing tools in it. It's an antique cheese box. Um, paid five dollars for it. Um, when I looked it up later, they go for anywhere between $5 and $20, depending on the brand. This brand's not out there, so I might end up doing okay if someone collects these and it's rare. Uh, but if not, it's a lesson I keep periodically teaching myself of not going on a hunt for stuff, not finding as much as you want, and then settling and overpaying for something that you just don't need. So the lesson here is just don't overpay for something just because your outing isn't as fruitful as it could otherwise be. All right, couple other items before we're done. Not one, but two Hot Wheels um, laser guns. So this was from 1989. They are uh, from a toy set where you would radar on cars and get them to race. And apparently these individually do sell. So I was happy that I was able to get them for, I think about $10 um, total. And they're going for about 15 a piece uh, so I'll get three times my money on these, maybe even just move them along as a lot to a collector. Uh, two things to go. Uh, this was an interesting one. It was a jean jacket. I was able to negotiate down to $8 for it, um, and I just washed it, so um, sleeves are a little wrinkled. But as you can see, it is a uh, Sean John or um, Sean Puffy Combs jean jacket in 2XL tall. So again, it's a rare size. If I put it up, buy it now for a price or best offer, um, having paid eight bucks for this, it's probably, a, I mean, retail it's over $100, but it was probably a $50 aftermarket jacket if it's clean, intact like it is um, to the right person. So I'm gonna put it up 50, buy it now or best offer, see what I can get for it. Um, but this might be one of the best uh, profits that I made on this trip. Uh, and then lastly, I went out on a limb. It was only a dollar, so I had to get a, um, taco cat shirt so i don't understand it but there's taco cat stuff out there and people will pay 15 dollars for these shirts uh, in different formats and so i paid a dollar for it i figured for that price i could burn it but uh here we go taco cats um so to recap i paid 26 bucks for stuff that i plan to resell i'm hoping to make four times that um so while it wasn't the greatest amount of money made for the time spent um that's the nature of being a part-time picker is you know, you can only go when uh, kids and childcare allows it. And uh, that's why I'm not doing it for a living right now, but um, but I still enjoy it. So it was a sweaty afternoon. A lot of the sales were closed by then, but we we're stable, still able to grab a few items that I, I'll know I will be able to resell. So I hope you still found this uh, enjoyable to watch. Uh, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Um, I've got lots of other videos of hauls that I've made. Um, and yeah, tell your friends if you know any of them might like it as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you guys soon.